Hello everyone. Well, in the past decade, as an oncologist, we would have a treatment which would be one type for one cancer. What would it cause? Well, some patients would have extremely good response, but there would be some patients who may not have favorable response, and some patients who might actually have more aggressive disease or progression. And what we have reached now in 2022 is an era of precision oncology and precision medicine. How and where? Well, there is immense data known as bioinformatics, and it is combined together into a, a format which is known as multiomics. So we have genomic data, we have environmental factors or epigenomic data, we have data from microbiomes, transcriptomes, and metabolomics, proteomics. All this data has to be used in a useful way for the patient, thus causing precision oncology or precision medicine. What is the most important tool when we are doing this? Well, the one tool is next generation sequencing, which analyzes the tumor in such a way that we find out what are the important pathways which can be used to target a particular cancer. And these important pathways, which we commonly use now, are RAS-RAF pathway in colon cancer. We use EGFR AL cross pathway in lung cancer, and there are many of such pathways. But this actually leads to something known as a comprehensive genomic profiling or comprehensive molecular profiling. And what in reality it does is that we find out driver mutations, which are the mutations which actually drive the cancer, or it could be bystander or passenger mutations, which sits besides but we cannot target them. There are certain undruggable mutations. So we have a mutation but we don't have a drug which can target it at this point in time, which may change in the next several years. And then we find out certain pan tumor markers. These pan tumor markers can be tumor mutation burden or microsatellite instability, and these are markers to decide whether we can give immunotherapy. When we also have CGP data, we find out whether we can give safe drugs with less side effect, which improves the quality of life of patient. So, in summation, we have focused care, customized care for minimal side effects. And for maximum output, these are useful for our current battle against cancer. Thanks so much.